Why, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Caporal, bringing you a multi-part video. You get some news, you get the the modification, and you get a little bit of an update and the thrift shop haul. A little bit of multiple things. I only got 20 minutes. Let's do this. So first things up, advertisement. Buy my book, The Epic Acacia's Crossroads, at authorhouse.com or barnesandnobles.com. Book two is almost done. Just gotta, gotta do the editing. So a little update on the blaster I painted with all acrylic. As you can see, it came out pretty well. And all that, the tip is different, but yeah. From now on, I'm just gonna spray paint all black and then paint over with acrylic. It's a lot cheaper. It's, and I'm gonna prove to y'all, it's actually very doable, doable, do, doable a ball on a big blaster. And also, it just looks a little bit more weathered, to be honest. That's another good thing about this. It's just it looks more weathered, a little bit more flat. But that's what I like about it. It's just like I want these things to look like they're used, and I don't have to do that much weathering as I did with this one. So, But I didn't really add any weathering to this one, to be honest. So let's get on to it. Put those to the side. So what I got, I'm going to turn on the light. And turn off the light because we're gonna go and rave. Oomsy, 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 oomsy. Yes, I got me. Um, what is this called? The, the proton. I got me the Sonic Green proton, meaning I believe I own every Vortex Blaster and Sonic Green. Soon I should have them all. So let's turn on the lights. Another thing I got an uppercut. You can find these at Ollie's now. Did you just sell them in bulk orders? I like, like, sell me like 20 of them for $5. I'll be fine with that. And of course, I gotta show off this Alpha Strike, the Lynx. I really like this blaster. I'm gonna paint it. So let's go to the next blaster for $6. Got me a turbine. Came with the Adventure Force Mag. It works. They had in the um, power tool section for some reason. I forgot to show this off last time. The um, hockey stick. But yeah, I got a ho the North hockey stick still in packaging. And for some reason, this, the, there was a second one, but that was $14. So I got lucky. Let's see what else can I get. I'm going to make this quick. Oh, here we go. Ignoring me. Another Claire shot. And a red jolt. That's always good. And another thing I got, a disruptor. Um, I'm gonna stop buying blasters that I'm gonna, because I'm trying to move, so it's like, yeah, I'm gonna stop buying blasters for the, um, sell at the flea market because one, I'm trying to move, and two, it's like, they raised up the prices to get an area. So one day I'm probably just gonna have a garage sale, get rid of a bunch of blasters. Next, I have, so I got them all for five, oh, these next three blasters, including this one for five dollars at the Goodwill outlet. So I got me the shark fin blaster, missing one of the fins. Now I might just take it off because it's, it's kind of floppy on there. And I keep trying to prime it back because it's a bolt. And I got another one of these corner shot blasters. Not that, but in a different color, and it works perfectly fine. And, oh, I didn't... The secret hatch does not have any darts in it. I actually forgot to check that. Let's see, what else did I get? Ah, here we go. Last, last one. I got me a Recon Mark II. I haven't even checked if this worked because I forgot I had it. It was perfectly fine until I dropped it in the store right after I bought it. It was concrete floor, the ones with the pebbles in it. Actually, I want to see if it works. No. I'm going to put a Doomlands dart in there. If anything, for a dollar, I got the um, oh, uh, my favorite kind of mag. Works perfectly fine. So I got a working one. I can do a proper review on it now. And then I got me one of these um, dart tag blasters. The green one. I have the orange one. I just haven't done a video on it. So just to get the complete pair. And last but not least, 
some rival rounds because I want to fool around with the monolith. So let's get everything out of the way so I can do the proper video. So the modulus battle scout. I think I'm one of the few people that have actually painted this thing. And just to prove to y'all how how it looks and all that. This didn't come out too too well, but this came out perfectly. I just I didn't even bother sanding it. I just painted it over with black acrylic. But this part did not come out too well. Same thing. Got it because it's not screwed in all the way at all. But because I'm gonna show y'all a mod tip. Come here, open up. This thing's not easy to take apart. There's no clips, it's just like a wedging thing. Because the thing is, several pieces of it connect to one side, whereas the other pieces do not. Okay, and you see this, the trigger is just one big mechanism. You can see this was green. So I had to take it apart in order to see that. And I gotta pause the video. So I'm back. So this is the thing that holds the, um, the clip all that and it's one it's it's its own piece you put it in there and all that this is the spring i replaced the spring with a for fifth it's paid 15 dollars for a replacement spring it now shoots at 100 fps but there's a problem with that it's very hard to push back and this plastic is really brittle just feeling it, it's like this is this is too much for it. And there are moments where like the spring is just so strong compared to this thing's mechanism that it just um when I fire or tried slam firing, it springs back too quickly. So it's not all on the whole prime, like how you um try slam firing a blaster that doesn't want to slam fire and it just poops out the dart, that that happens. So, so yeah, it's um, a problem. Though I do admit that if you, I just dropped the spring. Get back here. Get back here. Run away. Though I did do something else to see if this changes things. I removed the, pe the pegs from the clip. And it will fire half darts from this. And you can fit two half darts in here and fire the, at the same time but usually it it jams it just jams in the blaster they they're not a perfect fit and all that and it does add an extra 10 to 20 fps usually 10 but i've seen 20 so that's really to just the stock blaster with the original spring and all that so this is proof that you could paint a blaster all black and paint, use acrylic paint to paint a lot of it. I used a bigger brush to paint this gunmetal gray. I know it doesn't look all too, it doesn't pop out as much. Silver always has problems painting, but it makes it look more weathered and all that. I believe silver is just best in small increments and I haven't added all weathering to this yet. But yeah, I just wanted to be the one guy who actually bothered to mod and paint the Battle Scout. And I'm taking the spring out because I'm afraid I'm going to break it. So in the future, I want to get three Battle Scouts. One for playing. This is for cosplay. Okay. Copper Army. This is your shotgun, essentially. So, yeah. <laughs> this is You got to use this blaster. Okay, now. So, this is um co really cosplay display only. So it just I just wanted to have its original spring. One day I'm gonna get the other Battle Scout and get it that has the um better spring in it, the one that works right. The uh, what is it called? Battle camo. And I just want a third one. That's the one I'm gonna put the different spring. And hopefully it's a battle camo one. I, I'm hoping that these are different. So now I'm gonna show you how to take this thing apart. Okay, because when I looked up the video how to take apart a battle scout, they didn't Fun they didn't show how you take this apart okay because this gave me a problem right here so let's do this so you t I take off this screw right here first let's 
Sorry about my hand being in the way. Okay. Let me see if I can adjust it because I don't have a lot of time. And I forgot, like, does this just come apart? Or was there another screw I'm forgetting about? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't necessarily come apart. So that was the thing. Like, it all comes together. This screw. And then there's one in here. And this thing's a, this thing was a pain to put to get back together because of the spring. So you, you got to get all three of the springs, and then you put, because I watched the video how to take it apart, and I was so disappointed they didn't do this because this was the thing I had problems with because I didn't take a picture of it. So now I'm helping you all out in case you ever want to mod this thing. I don't know why. I think I'm the only one dumb enough to do this. I really am doing this because Bots and Blasters did is upping up his nail biter. I remember there was something wrong with this thing. How to take it apart? Because it didn't want to to come apart. I think it was yes. There it is. It was a clip. That's what it was. This thing has this one clip right here. It's a pain. Should have just removed it. But, you know. Okay, there we go. There we go. That was the screw, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, that'll be fine. Yeah. So this is what it looks like inside. On this side, there is a spring right here, and I don't remember what it's for. Let's. But yeah, there's a spring right there. That's where it goes. Next, there's this catch spring right here. Okay. And there's the other springs as well. Keep that in mind. But last but not least, this spring goes right here. With this orange thing. Okay, it goes. I don't want to drop it. It goes in like this. And you put it in like so. In here. See that little nub right there? That's where you put it. There you go. That's the catch mechanism. See? And now I've taken out the spring. Gotta be careful. I don't want to lose these things. To take this apart, it was a pain. You do have to, I believe I had, I unscrewed that. Yeah, I did. I did. Even with the the improved spring, you don't really need this. A modified like something else would be better, in all honesty. Yeah. Now I remember correctly, I took this out, I believe. Yeah, I took it out. It's a weird thing to take out, but I just ended up taking it out. I just don't know how I did it. Ooh. Now this is the hard part too. It's like I don't remember how I got rid of this. Pull out. I think I know how to do it. Yeah, screw right here. There we go. Pop it out. Pop this back in. Yeah. Put this back in. Is it upside down? Yeah, I think it's upside down. Brain turning off. I'm doing that a lot lately. It's not right, is it? No, no. Because the freaking hole is right there. <laughs> yeah. My bad. And there we go. Get in there. This is the hard, that was the hardest part. I remember now. Okay, I just screw it back in. Don't lose your screws. I have like a little magnet thing over there in the corner. I should have been using it. But yeah, that's how you take it apart and you put it back together. Let's do the 
do it backwards. Because I'm running out of time, and I don't think I can do this fast enough for y'all. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely can't do it fast enough for y'all. So, on the other news, I'm going to start making Pokemon videos on how to counter the meta. I want to get it back into competitive battling and all that, but it's also because I want to help fix the Pokemon community. It is very toxic. It is very... um not player friendly um if you are a smogon player you're gonna hate me because i ain't playing by your rules okay i'm playing to win so a lot of hackers a lot of dumb stuff like that and also everything with this blaster you gotta put the um it's like the disruptor this thing has to be able to push this and all that so Thank you all very much for watching. I hope this helps you out if you ever want to mod this thing. Thank you all. You have a nice day. Bye-bye.